Hi, I'm Tyler with 701 Pursuit, and this is The Pit. Today we're going to be talking about goose spreads, and the two main things we're going to get into is in the spread, hiding in the spread, and hiding out of the spread. So, main question I get asked while goose hunting is, what spreads do you like to use? And the first thing I usually say is it depends on what my height is. What I mean by height is where I'm going to be shooting from and what my situation is going to be. But we're just going to keep it basic and we're just going to do some simple U's, which is exactly how it sounds as a U shape with those decoys. And main thing to add to that is your spread's only as good as your height is. If your layout blind isn't brushed in all the way, they're going to see that and flare off. So I don't think it's because you're spread all the time. There's a lot of factors that go into it and your height is just a big factor in that. Because if they see you, they're gone. And it could be something as little as a little piece of shiny laying in your brush or something like that. So we're going to get started with the in the spread hide. So we're going to do a four man hide. And this is something I'm going to start implementing is getting spacing between my hunters. Because how I used to do it in the past is I'd keep everybody super close. And I think I'm going to do away with that because it made the hide harder. So I'm going to give six to eight feet spacing between these hunters. And that will give us more ability to put decoys between us, in front of us, and around us. So in these areas, this area right here, I'm going to keep that very light because I want geese coming to this area. If you have stuff super thick, Geese don't like flying over decoys. Geese want to geese want to land where they have room to land. So that's when you're going to do with these edge areas right here, right here. You want to be super thick. And how, I, how what I mean by thick is you're going to do family groups of four to six with two two feet minimum, but four feet is better between the decoys. Because if you put decoys, say, I'm just gonna use this as a reference, stacked up like that. I'll make this bigger for you. If they're stacked up right next to each other, that is a warning call of geese. It's, they're cuddling together because there's something wrong. They're, like, they're in danger. So you want to keep them pretty spread out by being thick it is just the volume of geese in that area, decoys. So I'm going to do X's as family groups and O's as singles. So I'm going to start off pretty heavy in this corner. Then I want to work it down with family groups and we're going to keep it heavy. Then we're going to throw a couple singles in there. And we're pretty much going to mimic that on the other side. Obviously not exactly the same. You got to make it different because geese aren't always the same. So in the center one, you want to be pretty light, but you still want to have some family groups. So how I like to do it is I like to make my front a little heavier than my back. So I'm going to do a family group there, family group there, and a family group there. And I'm just going to add a lot of singles throughout this. And I'll probably put a family group there. So by this, I'm accomplishing a kill zone in this U. And with this kill zone, I'm going to be using this decoy as like an 80 yard marker, then probably the single as a 40 yard marker, then this one has a 20 yard marker. I like to put my decoys about 20 yards ahead of us because geese will land. If they're coming towards decoys, they will land into the decoys, but they will not fly over them. 
So if I put mine at 20, that's my optimal shot, I have them landing right there. So in some cases, geese might be weary of this, so I will put a couple singles, like they just landed between 40 and 80 yards and make them look like they're feeding and walking towards the group. So that is the in the spread layout for a basic U. Next, we will be doing the out of the spread layout. It's kind of the same for the U. So I'm gonna switch it up and I'm gonna do, some people call it the Nike swoosh or the hook. I like to call it the hook. It's kind of just a different look. Um, and with decoy spreads, you wanna give them as many different looks as you can because if you do the same thing over and over and over again, they get used to it and they're like, we've seen that before. They're gonna be less weird. They're gonna be less confident. I'm going into that. So we're gonna do one big A frame in the back, at least 20 yards away from that back line of decoys. So with this Nike swoosh, you're gonna be your kill zone. Is gonna be right in that arch, right where that arch meets. So you're gonna be, so we're gonna do X's as family groups and O's as singles. So we're gonna do X for a family group, remember four or five, even six. And then we're gonna go a couple singles, and X, X, single, X, X, then single, single, X. And then once you're starting to get to this Nike swoosh, the concave of it, you're gonna start going light with singles, maybe family group there, singles there, family group right there, single, single, maybe two right there. You just wanna mix it up, but keep it pretty light right here. Next, you're gonna be going into the arch of this Nike Swish and you go out heavy again. Lots of family group and a couple singles mixed in there. And don't be afraid. It doesn't have to look like a Nike Swish. That's, that's not the goal, it's just, your goal is this kill zone. So you can go past this and go like, family group, single, family group, single, single, that's making it look, look more realistic because birds aren't going to be going, we're going to go like this. That's not what they're going to do. Or even with the U, they're not going to be a perfect U. I think in my lifetime of hunting, the only thing I've ever seen that was perfect was a V, which was, they were pretty much like this. That's the only time I've ever seen geese be in a perfect shape. With this, with making spreads, the best thing to do is to set up your yard markers so you're not guessing at how far the geese are. You know exactly where they're gonna be at 80 yards 40 yards and 20 yards. And it all depends on your hide. Your hide is the biggest deal in waterfall hunting. If they see you, if they see anything they don't like, they're gone. You don't get a second chance. Thanks for coming and watching the video. Leave a like, comment. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks.